Hey guys and gals, this is Sonic Arrow on the 8.8 test server with the T34-3, the tier 8 Chinese premium medium tank. And uh, the T34-3 and the 112 has only recently been made available uh, through the missions tab. You actually have to play one game on the test server and then you'll be awarded with the T34-3 and the 112. So let's take a look at the T34-3 stats compared to the Type 59, which I'm sure a lot of you want to know about. The T34-3 and Type 59 have very similar statistics. They both have 1,300 hit points, weigh about 36 tons. Uh, Type 59 is a little bit heavier. Same engine, 520 horsepower. Speed limit, 50 kilometers per hour on the T34-3, 56 on the Type 59. Hull Traverse and Turret Traverse are exactly the same at 46 degrees per second. A view range of 380 meters and a signal range of 600 meters, so that's very similar. Uh, hull Armor and the Turret Armor, that's where they differ a little bit. 90 millimeters of frontal hull armor on the T-34-3, 50 on the side, 50 on the back. Uh, whereas on the Type 59, it gets 100 on the front, 80 on the side, 45 on the back. Turret Armor, it's got 190. Uh, on the front of the T-34-3, 120 on the side and 60 on the back. Type 59 gets 200 millimeters of armor on the front, 130 on the side and 60 on the back. Uh, so the Type 59 gets slightly more turret armor, but given the shape and uh, the sloping of the turret, it's not that different. <clears throat> it's the hull armor you're going to have a little bit of trouble with, and it's not actually that bad. Upper front plate is going to be penetrated by quite a few tanks anyway, it doesn't really matter, Type 59 uh, has the same kind of problem. The main difference between these two tanks are its cannons. The T-34-3 gets 122 uh, with 175mm average penetration, 390 average damage, 4.17 round per minute rate of fire, 0.46 accuracy, and a 3.4 second aiming time. Type 59 gets the 100mm cannon. 181 average penetration, 250 average damage, 0.39 accuracy, and a 2.9 second aiming time. Uh, so it's really inaccurate and a lot longer aiming time compared to the Type 59. Penetration is not as good. Alpha damage, much better. The T-34-3 gets an advantage in its premium rounds with 250 millimeters of average penetration while the Type 59 is stuck with only 241. Uh, that's not that big of a difference, but you could use it to your advantage at some points in the game. Gun depression on the T-34-3 is not as good as the Type 59. I believe it only has 3 degrees of gun depression, which is not very much at all. You're not going to be able to use uh, any hills very effectively unless you're shooting up at your enemy. Let's get into a game. Here we are on Prokhorovka. It's, uh, well, there's a few tier 9s in the game, and I'm just showing you that the gun depression is not very good. The T-34-3 also holds uh, quite a few more rounds than the Type 59, and with a slower rate of fire, you're unlikely to run out of ammunition as quickly as you would on the Type 59. Let's see. Oh, let's make the minimap a little bit larger. And as typical of a test server, everybody seems to want to go on one side. Not very good, but uh, we'll try to make this work. Alright, looks like we have a T95 backing us up on the 3 line, or he will be eventually. Let's see what I can get spotted on this side. Now the disadvantage of a Chinese tank is gun depression, so... Yeah, I wasn't going to really have effective shots on that T34-3. And I just noticed this Lorraine 40T that just showed up and simply just got decimated. 
This is an A44, it's one of the new uh, Russian mediums. It's actually uh, surprisingly refreshing to have uh, a pretty good alpha gun on a medium tank. Just gonna make sure to aim at the lower plate just in case because I'm not firing any heat rounds. Let's fast forward through this part as I don't really do that much, just driving around and trying to get some shots in but I can't. Alright, we're back and uh, just still driving around. <laughs> The uh, obligatory shot from uh, your teammates, of course. That was at an extreme angle, so I, I doubt he would have penetrated any tank at that at that point. Um, but yeah, he got me that time, sure. Seems like he must have done it quite a few times to other players because. I don't think one shot would have turned you blue. Not too sure about the, the team damage thing. The mobility on the T-34-3 is not that bad. It's, it's very similar to the Type 59 and if you, if you play those tanks, or, or that tank, quite a lot then you'll feel right at home with this. Um, you just have slower reload and a better alpha gun. Now here's a 112 on 1 HP. Let's see if I can get around. He gets a shot in and the T95 takes him out before my shot hits. So that was kind of unnecessary. <laughs> E50, yeah, I can't get my gun low enough to do hit that guy. And he is looking in this direction now. Anything over there? Okay, well there's the Fosh, still showing side armor. And you can see the accuracy, it's not that good from range. Um, and we'll try for another shot on the 5120. Not much showing there. That time landed right where I was aiming. <clears throat> Doesn't happen too often, but uh, you can get lucky. There he is again, he popped up again. <clears throat> ah, but there's a T-71. That was uh, probably a bad shot for me. It wasn't really the fault of the cannon's accuracy that time. Now that had to have gone in. <clears throat> Looks like it did. T-95 took him out, although... I believe the T-95 rolled high enough. He could have taken out a T-71 in one shot. And that one went right over the 5120. <laughs> and it's just the artillery left. The armor of the T-34-3 is just as you would expect it. The turret armor on the front is fairly strong. And the uh, hull armor, not that great. It's, uh, it's a medium tank with a pretty big gun. So I think I might pick one of these up. It seems quite fun. And I'd love to do some testing on the live servers where I don't just consistently play against other T-34-3s and 112s. 
and also less people are flying premium rounds. Um, not that great of a game, but you can see that if you don't have a, a, an incredible game or anything like that, you still get a decent amount of credits out of it. Um, sh shell cost is pretty high, I believe it's a thousand credits uh, per shot on the regular armor piercing rounds and the heat rounds are about 5,000 credits. So you might want to think about firing your heat rounds. Uh, obviously you want to penetrate and deal full damage otherwise you might start losing money. Uh, you just keep those heat rounds for those a uh, little bit more difficult harder to pen front armor of some of the tanks that you'll meet up with. Thanks for watching, please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.